Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I'm sharing a recipe for a crock pot creamy tomato basil chicken. And this is my new favorite crock pot recipe. So I am super excited to share it with you. Let me run you through the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. There's not very many, but combined they are so good. First off, you need one and a half to two pounds of chicken breast, some heavy cream, a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes with Italian herbs. This one had basil, garlic, and oregano. Two tablespoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of minced garlic, three quarters of a cup of tomato sauce, dried basil, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and last but not least, some fresh basil. I also served this with shredded Parmesan cheese as a nice finishing touch. So let me show you how to put this together. This recipe is definitely classified as a dump and go recipe. You just combine all the ingredients starting with the diced tomatoes. Then we're going to add in the tomato sauce. The minced garlic goes in next. Next, we're gonna add our dried oregano. Also, we're going to add our garlic powder, our black pepper, and our kosher salt. For this step, this is what is going to add this luxurious thickness to this sauce. So we have three quarters of a cup of heavy cream and I'm mixing in two tablespoons of cornstarch. You just wanna mix this with a fork or a whisk until it's completely combined. And then we're going to add this right into our sauce mixture in the crock pot. This combination of flavors makes the most delicious sauce. So make sure that you combine your cornstarch and your cream really well. And then, like I said, we're just gonna mix this together. And you can just use the same fork like I did here. I'll save you on a dish or two. And you just want to combine all those ingredients in the bottom of your crock pot. When you mix all this together, you can start to smell how delicious this is going to be, but just wait until it is done cooking. You will be amazed. Once your sauce is combined, you just wanna take your chicken breast and just lay them right in the sauce. You, nothing special, you just wanna make sure they are coated. I just put four pretty good sized chicken breasts in here and kind of toss some sauce over the top, turn them over. You just want them to be coated in the sauce before you pop the lid on. So we're going to put the lid on our crock pot and we're going to turn this on low for four to five hours. When you're ready to serve this for dinner, you can boil your pasta, get your fresh basil ready, and when you uncover this, it smells divine. The smell of this was actually very reminiscent of walking into one of the very famous North End restaurants in Boston. The North End is known for their Italian cuisine, and I know this is just simple crock pot food, but that is what this smelled like. So I just pulled the chicken apart. It was so tender, it was just falling apart. I usually don't worry about pulling the chicken into two small pieces, just because we like to serve it um, a little bit on the rustic style but I just let it sit on warm, and then once we were ready and our pasta was ready, we were using bow tie pasta because my kids think these are fantastic, and I just served up some chicken and the tomatoes, and you want to make sure to get some of that sauce. The sauce is what makes this dish. I wanted to share with you a super simple, easy, and delicious recipe that you can throw in your crock pot and not worry about but serve your family a delicious meal over these holiday weeks. I know no matter what you celebrate, 
um, this time of year can be crazy and stressful, so hopefully this will take some stress off one of your weeknight meals. Like I said, we served it with Parmesan cheese and a sprinkle of fresh basil, and this was just absolutely over the top phenomenal. I hope you guys will try this, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you are new here, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and join this YouTube community over here, and I will see you guys in the next one.